Reader's Corner, and today I'm so excited to bring you guys another book review. This is for a nonfiction book, and it's titled Ten Prayers You Can't Live Without by Rick Hamlin. When you hear a loved one's voice on the phone, you can usually recognize them in a word or two. Your voice is just as unique to God, and He is waiting, wanting to listen to you personally about anything and everything. Yet sometimes we can't find the words to pray. In a world filled with uncertainty, 10 prayers you can't live without will bring new clarity to your everyday conversations with God. Go deeper, pray unceasingly, and discover a stronger relationship with God. You were made to pray. I think that this is one of the absolute very best books that I've read on prayer. I love books on prayer. I have read and reviewed several books on prayer for my blog and YouTube channel. And I just have to say that to me, this book is right up there at the top, top of the line, best books I've read on this topic. I want to tell you a little bit about the author, uh, Rick Hamlin. Rick is the executive editor of Guideposts Magazine. He is also a contributor to the website guideposts.org, where he regularly blogs about prayers as well as some other uh, topics. Rick has authored several novels, including a nonfiction book titled Finding God on the A-Train, A Journey into Prayer. And now he has written his latest book, 10 Prayers You Can't Live Without, How to Talk to God About Anything. Let me give you five reasons for 10 prayers. Five reasons I think this book is awesome. I think the author's humbleness, um, concerning prayer as well as just uh, sort of just coming alongside us as readers to encourage us not to be like hey I'm a big expert I know everything but just his genuine search uh, for what we're all looking for a deeper you know more intimate more uh, practical more relevant prayer life the second thing that I love about this book is that it's easy to read, it's easy to understand. You don't have to be a theologian or some Bible scholar. You don't have to have been to seminary. You don't have to know a lot of big words to read and enjoy this book. It's written in just a simple way, simple yet powerful. The third thing I love about this book is that it gives you permission to pray outside the box. It just basically lets you know that uh, there are many different ways and methods and places and, and yeah, that you can pray. That it's not a set thing and that you have to do it this way. And you have to, you know, all these rules or whatever. It's just, it frees you up to realize that prayer can be a practical, powerful thing in your own life. And that it can fit into your you know, character, it can fit into your lifestyle, and it just encourages you to think outside of the box concerning your prayers. The fourth thing I love about this book is the wonderful true stories that are in here of people who have prayed, of God answering their prayers. These stories gave me chills. These stories brought me to tears. I absolutely loved the humanness in this book of seeing real people really praying and a real God really answering. And the fifth thing that I love about 10 prayers is the actual 10 prayers. This book is full of practical tips, helpful hints, wonderful advice, suggestions, and examples to get you talking to God about any and everything. I give 10 prayers you can't live without by Rick Hamlin. Five out of five stars. This book is definitely a must read, a must keep, a must tell people about. Yeah. This has been my review for 10 Prayers You Can't Live Without, How to Talk to God About Anything by Rick Hamlin. From JoJo's Corner, until next time, happy reading. Bye, everybody.